if anyone wants to um, make contact about what's happening in the chamber, I think the first point port of call would obviously be with their constituency member. Constituents have a number of, of ways in which they can first of all contact their Member of Parliament and then ask their Member of Parliament to take up an issue. As many Members of Parliament do, I hold regular surgeries in the constituency um, in terms of by email, by Twitter, by Facebook, in person, over the phone. If it's an issue which a select committee is looking at, then they can write to the committees. They can petition, ask their Member to, to lay a petition. E-petitions, um, there's no guarantee that an e-petition would get a debate, but it's certainly one of those things which the Backbench Business Committee would look at very seriously. And of course they can ask members if something is a problem which they've been unable to get resolved, they can ask them to raise that in the adjournment. I think a lot of people are not conscious that they can come and watch the proceedings. In fact, they don't have to ask. They're a member of parliament. People can turn up and queue and get in to watch the proceedings of the House. If people wanted to visit the House and they've got access to a computer, then they can go to the Parliament website. There's a lot of information there and they can find out how to do it if they want to do a tour, if they want to come and watch a debate, if they want to go into a committee meeting. Um, and Parliament is very welcoming and likes having people, so we do hope people will use that facility and come and watch their Parliament. The Chamber is also um, a place of real theatre um, and I think the public enjoy that. What I would say to the Honourable Gentleman is, is the, the Euro adrenaline ought to be flowing because it's exciting and you're conscious that it's being reported very widely and viewed fairly extensively across the country and indeed beyond the UK. This is a working museum. This is a fantastic building to be. You know, it's the envy of the world, home of democracy. But it all comes back down to one place, the reality. That is the chamber. That's where decisions are made.